Hello everyone, my name is Adam and this YouTube channel Adam Fuseman. In the previous video, I was talking about what I have a few licenses and overall I have HVAC license in California, electrical license in California, Texas HVAC license and uh, I last year passed one half of the Florida HVAC exam for the trade in the second try and uh, I was trying to pass the business and finance part and I failed and uh, very soon I will get like a try again business and finance one more time so in this video I would like to share with you what kind of platform I'm using it's called education construction professional cei home.com you can find the link in the description below I took the books from them and course from them they have kind of the platform where you can find all these questions and it's all very well structured and i very recommend you to use that particular course but if you failed the test in person view the institution where you can take a test for your hvac license in florida for the next day maybe next week i don't remember actually you will be able to take a review of your examination to check what question you failed and what i've done this is kind of illegal thing but i would like to share with you please don't share with any florida licensing boards or whatever i just want to help you because i don't know it's gonna help you or, or not but i bring all these books to the that exam review the books which you have to bring to the exam it's very simple ones and you will find them in this course so they can sell you the first book it's called florida contractors manual very huge book with a small font on it so it's kind of looks like that very interesting so the other thing it's called aia with all laws and all the things it's available also in the like a kit with all books to for the preparation for the exam and uh, the third book you have to bring to the exam it's called accounting builder's guide to accounting yep so this is books let's see what i've got for you guys so because i've been in exam review what i've done they are providing me pen and i was able to bring the books with me what i've done i rewrite questions what i failed and uh, put them to the book right now i'm going to reread them and uh, you have to just uh, just to memorize so i'm not sure it will uh, match your questions in the exam it is not particularly for you it's mostly for myself as well because i'm going to tear down these pages from this book when i go to the exam because if the exam inspector will check my book before i will go inside front of the computer they will check the book what i don't have something illegal here the education is education the cheating is cheating it's not kind of cheating because i'm going to memorize all these answers i don't know let's get into it so minimum liability insurance for plumber contractor one hundred thousand dollars this is a right answer all following system concerns general partners except general partners have limited personal liability you have to memorize it i didn't write the whole question because there's a, a lot of information so the next one florida reemployment assistant program the right answer power of attorney subcontractor fails to perform and within 10 days may be terminated so if subcontractor fails perform to, to the work he may be terminated in 10 days Truck 21,000 depreciation of $12,000. New truck $24,000. Net cost the new truck 27,000. This is kind of very complicated question. If I will memorize it, I will just uh, 
have to pick net cost new track 27,000. For how long? Bits usually like opened for taking bits, usually for 30 days. Loss of use insurance responsibility of owner. So if someone didn't use the insurance and uh, the owner didn't check what the contractor does have uh, insurance, it's responsibility of the owner. The question, what's kind of advantage of the leasing of equipment? The right answer, reduced front end cash out bondings. Next, construction company with 19 employees, 12 jobs, should have separate locks must be kept on each side. So OSHA locks 300 and 300A should be kept on each job site with that particular amount of the employees. Bidder shall deliver the required bonds in how many days? Three days. Next, in the good purchase system, like a purchasing system like CRM, the most simple control device, not necessary part, it's sales tax. This is kind of question uh, can be found here, but I didn't find on the exam. So the sales tax, it's not necessary part on the purchasing system. What type of the insurances must all certified contractors carry? Right answer, public liability and property damage in the amounts as set by the board. Next question, wage state statute of limitations. So three years, if some of the, your employees trying to get back money, he thinks you didn't pay so he have a three years to find you good construction practice with payment to subcontractor this is uh, all the time you have to take the lien release form from subcontractor this is the right answer next one penalty for first violation employer using aliens so if you are using aliens with non-document workers it is gonna be the right answer civil fine of not more 500 dollars regardless of the number of aliens you can hire 10 aliens with non-document people and you will have to pay first time 500 dollars next one insurance policies how they could be considered insurance policies considered as prepaid expenses next question effective procedure for enhancing collections of the money in your company should be provide discount incentive incentives so if you want to take more money from the customers you have to offer them discounts in my company we are offering three percent if they're paying forward before we are starting the project next who is a contractor Contractor means the contractor or he or her authorized representative. Next question. 50,000 loan plus 50,000 assets plus 50,000 liabilities. What's kind of going to be the equity? The equity, no change equity on this question. Who certifies substantial completion of project? Architect. The right answer is architect. When progress billing bring in more income transactions. So that is uh, billing, progress billing called front end loading. Oh my gosh, it's like absolutely useless information. <laughs> Holy smoke. Okay, next one. The question is who is responsible submit weekly labor and cash flow reports? The responsible project manager. If contractor does have disciplinary investigation, licensee have 20 days to respond in writing to the complaint from the customer. So next, so not apply to hourly cost of high value equipment. So if you are using the high value equipment, so this is costs of the high value equipment, shouldn't have include equipment operators hourly pay. It doesn't include it should be like separate for as a labor so diligent receivables due more 30 days accounts receivable become diligent if they are due more than 30 days trial balance not shows the current trend in accounts receivable not considered as a reportable medical treatment administration of tetanus shots so if it's like a tetanus shot's gonna be happen. That means it's not the recordable medical treatment. So the question is, could be like that. For what 
purpose, you need a loss income insurance to avoid business interruption. Next question. Complaint against contractor mediation, 14 days. So if someone complained against the contractor, the mediation could be 14 days. Expense paid in the current period, but will also benefit future periods. That called prepaid asset. Next question. Contractor purchases equipment for cash. What's gonna happen in net assets? So the right answer, no change in net assets. Calculation, next question. Gross sales, $250,000. Direct cost, $125,000. Total assets, $325,000. Other expenses, $75,000. Total liabilities, $250,000. What the question? It's a net worth. The, the right answer, net worth on this question is $75,000. Next question. If work on construction work was completed, owner can occupy that call substantial completion if work completed and owner can occupy the place. Next question. Part of contract documents, the right answer the specification consists of the written requirements for materials, equipment, construction systems and standards. So something like that, guys, girls, if the girls watching my channel, very appreciate. I hope this question can be our kind of help at least one people who are watching this video maybe i don't know and i'll see you in the next one bye